Think what a great thing it is to be a part of something that is the team, the team, the team, the team. Let's talk about the proper way to take a lead off. So let's say I just reached base safely. In this, for the case of this example, I've just reached first base. The first thing I want to do is look at my third base coach and get the signal. Then once the pitcher has the ball and she steps on the pitcher's plate, I want to get into what's called a rocker style lead off, which is heel on the base, Ball of foot and toes on the ground, other foot behind, extended behind the base. Whichever foot you choose doesn't matter. Whatever you think you're most comfortable with. But this is the position we want to be in. And then I can relax until that pitcher separates her hands because that means the ball, her delivery is started and that ball is going to come out of her hand any second, any moment. So I'm watching her. She's on the pitcher's plate. As soon as her hands separate, I'm going to crouch like I'm about to start sprinting in a race. So I'm somewhat relaxed. Hands separate. And then the moment that I see her stride foot touch the ground, this is what I'm watching now. Once I'm in my ready position. Once that stride, I, I'm just watching this foot. That's all I'm focusing on from her once I see her hand separate. So hands separate. I crouch. Now I'm, my, my attention is going to turn toward her glove side foot. And that glove side foot is going to lift off the ground during her delivery, step toward home plate. The moment that stride foot touches back down on the ground. I am starting my lead off in a sprint. I'm going to sprint three steps, shuffle to a stop, turn toward home plate to see the action. I am going to do this every single pitch. I'm going to lead off. Even if the sign is no steal, I am still going to lead off because if my teammate hits the ball, I want this head start. Now, of course, if the sign is a straight steal, I'm not going to shuffle to a stop. I'm just going to continue my sprint on down to the next base. But this is to, re to recap, just a regular lead off. This is how it will look. I reach base. I get the sign. I let the third base coach know I got the sign. Quick nod. Pitcher's on the pitcher's plate, so I get into position. Her hands separate. I focus on her glove side foot. Her foot touches the ground, and I take my lead. And that's how we do a leadoff. It's going to be fun. We're going to get to do it every time. Uh, there's going to be a lot more action involved, and uh, it's going to help us get in position to get to that next base where hopefully we can score. I'll see you next time.